Oh my god, why am I so low down? Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the start of the uni videos, I'm really excited. I've got like a mixture of emotions, I've got so much to speak to you guys about. This is going to be more of like a just first uni video. I moved in just over a week ago. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be realistic, like I feel like this video is going to be very realistic because I feel like I was almost sold kind of like an unrealistic view of university and a perfect university life really first off i'm going to start with a room tour but basically i'm going to show you everything i brought to university all the essentials you need what i brought and what i thought i didn't need first of all i'm gonna introduce our sponsor for the video which is the udi let me go get it one second it's so cute i love it fluffiest thing i've ever seen in my life so i feel like we all know what an udi is and if you don't it's basically like a a pull over almost like blanket which you wear i got the cutest design i love it it's avocados and toast like holding hands wait are they holding hands oh my god they are like look at that as soon as i saw this one i didn't even browse you because i like had to get this one it's so comfy and it's very practical for university because the heating is not on here it can get really cold um and when you're struggling off in bed when you're not going out it's just perfect. I absolutely love it. I might, I might throw it on to show you. It's literally like a huge blanket. I could literally sit in this all day. I'm not even joking. So if you want to order your UD today, use my discount code DarcyB35, which will get you £35 off your order. I will put it in the description as well and the website link so you can get straight there and order your UD. But yeah, thank you so much for sponsoring this video and let's get on with the room tour. Look how many trainers. There. I've also attempted to tidy my room before I show you. But it was like, I haven't like fully deep cleaned it yet because I was away for the weekend. So I've only basically been here for like five nights. So we're gonna start by the door. I've put some like pretty fairy lights up just around this area, but I'm gonna show you the overview of the room. So when you walk in, this is what you see. I do have a single bed and my camera just ran out of storage. So I had to delete a few things, but it almost seems spoiled because basically in a nutshell, I'm being honest, like I was a bit disappointed. I mean, I knew what I was, I saw what I was getting. The accommodation for me, like in my opinion, was quite expensive because my friends were getting, as I said, like those kind of rooms for less than what I was paying. And in the city, like bear in mind, this is not in the city at all. To love it a lot more, like I'm very lucky to have my own en suite. So what I'm saying is, even if all your friends have got completely different accommodation to you, maybe what you'd prefer, it's not the end of the world because you do settle into it. It's not even for a year that you're staying in halls, you'll like move to a house and stuff. So you can always change, but you can always change accommodation if you don't like it. So yeah, went on a little rant there, but first I got this huge white bar here which I just read my to do is I've got a lovely picture of Harrison on there he's gonna kill me but obviously where the door is I've got hangers which I've put my UD um my university bag I'm using this car hat bag my towel and my coat and then just a few <laughs> fancy dress bits for if we go out so yeah I said I've got some fairy lights which I put on with command hooks and then this is what I need your guys help on so I've got this big notice board and I put my vines up and just pinned them with a few pin board clips whatever they are called pin clips no what are they called what are they called pins is it just pins might be just pins and then I've put a few of my favorite photos up like neatly on this side but I want to put some stussy posters and just any sort of posters on here so if you think of anything else I can put on here and let me know in the comments then I've got this bedding it's a little bit creased but I got this from Asda I've got like a double everything for a single bed but it is worth it I'm saying if you have a single bed get double duvets and stuff because when you're cold in the night you'll thank yourself then behind my bed I've got a plant from the range and this salt lamp which is from Amazon I'm pretty sure which I just brought from home I had anyway. Past the window, I've got these lights, which my boyfriend's mum kindly got me, which I'm really grateful for, which I put my Polaroids on as well, because they came with, um, like, almost like mini pegs um, to put them on. I haven't got enough Polaroids to fill the whole thing. Got these from Amazon. If you just look up small curtain lights, they'll come up because they do actually have Polaroids on the picture. They're really easy to spot. Where my bed is, I've got, like, two little, almost like cubby holes. My first one just has my bags in and my glasses, but this one... <laughs> 
I have no idea what to put in it, so I just put my water bottle there. But like, it's not staying there. If anyone has any like suggestions of what to put in there, then let me know. And then I bought this from Asda before I came, thinking it was gonna fit my bathroom, but it didn't. But I've got more like on my bathroom stuff, so I got like pads, toothpaste, gloves for when I'm cleaning, and um, baby wipes, more pads and tissues. And then got some tampons in there. So it is pretty much just like a sanitary and cleaning drawer. This is the overview of the desk. What I was really happy with here is that there was so much room on the desk. Like it even carries on all the way here. So I almost have like a bedside table. So in this corner, I have a plant from B&M. My Alexa, which is not working on public Wi-Fi and I'm going to have to figure out how to work it. There is a way apparently, but I think I might have to take it home like almost connected to my phone and then bring it back, which is just a pain. Number seven mirror, which I got for Christmas, which I didn't end up using for my room, so I just saved it for uni. And then this lamp is from the range. This little pot here is from Asda, which is basically meant to be like a toothbrush pot, but I already got another one, so I put my pens in there. My laptop has fully like given up on me and I'm gonna, gonna have to buy a new one and I don't really have my money for it at the moment because uni is expensive. Then in this corner I've got another pen pot which I put on my, like, my pastel highlighters in. Then I've got this little square thing which I put my sticky notes glue sticks and then I've got just this where I put my notepads but I'm pretty much just gonna put all like my work in here when I get them because I don't actually have any work at the moment. But the reason why I'm not putting work on that one is because I'm gonna put it on this pin board here because obviously I'm gonna be looking at it. But luckily this desk came with like a light built in, which is quite nice. Then up on the top shelf, I've almost got like a little drinking corner going on um, with just some plastic cups. Plastic cups and Uno and drinks bring, it's so essential. Like you'll smash all your cups if you use them for praise. And then I've just got my jewellery pot, which I've got my jewellery. I didn't bring all my jewellery. I literally like brought what I knew I was gonna wear. My Ariana Grande perfume. And then I've just got like small skincare bits in here, which would fit in like a little basket. And then that's just where I keep my laptop when it's not on my desk. Here I've got all my textbooks, which I bought the other day. Got a dictionary. This is my main like skincare box. Got like my gel, tan, micellar water, stuff in there. And then I've got my makeup brushes there with this plant from Ikea, which I did actually nick out my room because you would have noticed it if you watched my other videos. On the top shelf, it's really boring. Makeup, just a bag from when I bought my stussy top. Starbucks cup, and then that's just filled with food, but I didn't want it to look ugly at first, so I put it in boxes. You don't even want to look at the top of my wardrobe, so we're gonna ignore that. Like, we are actually gonna ignore the top of my wardrobe. So, in my drawers, I've got almost like my stationary drawer where I've got my planners, and then my medical equipment that I've bought for the course, my stethoscope, my reading glasses, calculator, just some permanent markers and like my staplers. Then in my second drawer, I've, this is my hair drawer. So I've got my straighteners, curlers, bubbles, hairbrush, and then I've just got some cotton pads here, which obviously has nothing to do with hair, but there was some spare space. Then in this last drawer, this is my medical and electrical drawer. I have actually got this lunchbox, which I ordered off TikTok. Haven't used it yet, but I was just gonna use it for placement, really. So I've got my Polaroid, all my electrical stuff in this storage box here. I really, really recommend a medical box. I've got two little ones. So I've got plasters, vitamin C tablets, my pill, headache stick hand sanitizer, cold and flu, strepsils, plasters, paracetamol, ibuprofen, like you name it, I've got it. And then I've got my chair. Like it's actually really comfy. I'm actually really happy that the carpet, the pin boards, the chair, the curtains like grey and not like blue because that would really ruin my theme. Moving on to the wardrobe. So this honestly is not tidy at all because I like to close my door so you can't see it, basically. Under here, I've got towels. Up here, cleaning stuff like washing up capsules. I brought, oh my God, this is one essential which I'm gonna tell you about. Bring the pink stuff for, you, for your clothes because like my mum normally gets the stains on my clothes but my mum's not here. So if I get any stains on my clothes, which is gonna be very likely if you're going out clubbing and stuff, spray a bit of this on it. And then wash it out with a bit of soap in the sink and you should be sorted. Spare bedding, spare tea towels. So then here I've got my pyjamas. Um, I haven't actually hung a lot of stuff up. I've just got my jumpers and my trousers hung up at the moment. Joggers, jeans. 
in this box i brought like a little storage box to put like my pants and socks in then i've got my skirts down there and all my tops at the bottom and then just below that's where i put my shoes bring sliders because you're not going to want to walk in that kitchen barefoot i also want to show you my carpet this is from the range and um, it's really fluffy it literally stuck to my carpet like it doesn't slide around but yeah i love it i feel like it adds a little bit of personality this is my bathroom it is a wet room like it's not like you have a separate shower so it is a bit annoying when you, when you finish having a shower with a whole floor soap so like you can't go in there for like an hour you have to wait for it to dry anyway so open the door so this is the shower it's actually a decent shower like it fully like it's really hot and the pressure's good so i brought these shampoos from costco which are gonna last me pretty much for a whole year like they're huge just this aldi shower gel but yeah as I said, it's like a wet room. And the toilet, it's literally nothing interesting. The lighting is really bad in here only because there's no, obviously there's no window, so there's not really any natural light. But I've got this plan from the range. This is from B&M, just to make it look and smell pretty. And then I've got this box, which is from the range as well. Um, baby oil for shaving down there because it's a lifesaver. I've got my face wash from the body shop just a shower scrub and then just some razors just so I can easily grab them when I'm in the shower instead of like keeping them in my room so here I've got my soap dispenser and toilet brush like holder these are both from the range I'm actually really happy they're matching then I've got my hand towel which is from the range as well and then a bath towel which is from Asda and then just a little bit which you don't want to look in because I'm on my period so that's pretty much it for my room so yeah i actually really like it i mean there is a room for improvement because i've literally got like my pin bars are just empty but now i'm going to speak to you about like my uni experience which was not how i expected really. so i moved in on sunday like no one talks about how lonely uni is like when you do nothing through the day like there's nothing to do like i feel a little like like what i didn't like about my room was i felt trapped in it like and like because the window's quite small my bed's quite small like the room in general is just quite small like obviously i'm not asking for a mansion but it made me feel very like um i felt very trapped i felt very lonely i just wanted to come home basically <laughs> and like fresh as week but like fresh as week is the best week of your life and realistically it's not i went out three times they were good nights out but like it was just so hyped up and it's not like all they make out to be don't get me wrong i'm sure it will get so much better and like even this week it's got a lot better like i feel less homesick but i also want to just reassure you that if you're feeling lonely at uni i actually do understand because i never thought i'd feel homesick at uni I always like had this image of like the perfect uni experience in my head. I was honestly considering if I wanted to be here or not. And then like this week, I'm like, why the hell was I thinking that? And it is hard, like it is hard, but you've got this. So this is basically what my blabbering on was about. I'm showing you my experience because I feel like a lot of people just show the good things on social media. Like my story, if you looked at my Instagram story, you would think, oh my god you're having such a good time like you're not struggling at all and in reality i was feeling very homesick like, and message me like honestly like dm me if you're feeling like that like it's almost like not a sense of belonging and just almost feeling isolated but having friends around you like it's just it's really strange but yeah thank you so much for watching see you in another video love you bye it took a lot of hardship, doesn't